Welcome to our education, exploring the patient journey. Let's talk about ILD and IPF. My name is Amy Olson, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at National Jewish Health in Denver, Colorado. In the following videos, we will be discussing the key clinical features of IPF, how to recognize and diagnose IPF, and the importance of early referral and treatment. A patient case will be included in each video to illustrate these points. Each video builds on the content presented in the previous one. We strongly encourage you to complete the modules in the sequence they are being presented. First, let's review the clinical features of ILD and IPF. Interstitial lung disease represents over 130 different types of inflammatory or fibrotic lung diseases affecting the lung parenchyma. Of these fibrotic diseases, what we call idiopathic interstitial pneumonias, or IIPs, the most common IIP is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which occurs in 40 to 50% of the idiopathic interstitial pneumonias. IPF tends to occur in smokers, and more frequently in men than women. The vast majority of patients are over 50 years old. The prognosis of IPF is devastating, with a median survival of two to four years. Key clinical features include increased breathlessness on exertion, a non-productive cough, bibasilar inspiratory crackles, and as mentioned previously, an age over 50. Let's review the case of Mr. Joe. He's a 67-year-old former smoker who presents with a dry cough for 18 months and has had progressive shortness of breath on exertion for the past year. His cough has worsened with ambulation and in the morning. He's had a history of reflux, but thinks it's relatively controlled. He had asthma as a child, but does not note wheeze or chest tightness. He also had a cardiac evaluation at the onset of his cough, and he was told that his heart was healthy. It's important to note that he has no family history of lung or autoimmune disease, and has no known environmental or occupational exposures. On examination, Mr. Joe has a blood pressure of 132 over 68. His pulse is 67. His oxygen saturation on room air is 93%. There's no evidence of jugular venous distension. There are bilateral bibasilar crackles on his chest exam. His heart rate is regular with no abnormal cardiac sounds, and he has no cyanosis, clubbing, or edema in his extremities. Are you thinking about interstitial lung disease for Mr. Joe? Here are some of the reasons why you should consider it. As a reminder, Mr. Joe is over the age of 50. He's had a negative cardiac evaluation and he's presenting with progressive shortness of breath. He has no family history of lung or autoimmune disease and no known environmental or occupational exposures. It's also very important to note that on his physical exam, he has late bibasilar inspiratory crackles.